All right, I'm going to work on the tail today and uh, hopefully the mane of the horse. And we'll see how far I get today. Time to play with some clay. Well, first of all, I gotta wait for my super sculpty, I guess it is, to uh, warm up, and uh, then I can make the tail out of that, and hopefully I'll have enough uh, super sculpty left for the mane of the horse, too. So it'll be a few minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the armature for the tail exposed, and I'm gonna put the first clay on. This is just the uh, base clay for the uh, tail. And I'll build up on that. Again, the reason I use this clay is because it stiffens a lot stiffer than uh, my plastiline clay does. I'm starting to run out of it, so I'm going to have to order me a, another batch. Okay. My hand's in the way, so I'm going to have to reposition my camera here. You don't want to make the tail too complicated because then it gets expensive to cast. So you try to make it as uncomplicated as it possibly can.
Okay, I'm going to whoop, use some soft clay to go up underneath so there's no deep undercut underneath the uh, tail. It won't show, so it doesn't matter if I smooth it out a little. It just makes it easier to cast. There's a deep crevasse right here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to fill that in. Can't have that. Okay, I thought I'd put a couple of feathers in the uh, tail of the horse. The tail is done to my satisfaction, so now I'm going to paint it to look like clay. And for those of you watching me for the first time, years ago I decided I came across a little hack to make my different materials that I use in my sculpting, like wax, dark wax, and and in this case, super sculpty. I came up with the idea of matching the color of the uh, main clay that I use, the uh, JMAC medium plastiline clay. And uh, I thought, well, if I take a sample of that clay to the uh, to a paint shop they could match the color and they did and so now I take away any questions from people seeing the clay asking what is that material it doesn't hurt the casting it all comes out looking the same in bronze this just takes away questions All right, I'm going to go clean my brush. I'll be right back. All right, I ran some Super Sculpty through the uh, pasta machine to sort of plot out how I want my mane on the horse. And uh, I'm going to have some of the hair down here uh, flowing down alongside the neck of the horse and then flipping up a little bit because it's catching the updraft. And uh, so the front of it would be uh, catching it as well. I'm just plotting out the form of my uh, mane. And then Mustangs have so much hair on their neck that sometimes they have it on both sides. It splits right down the middle. And I'm going to do that on this side too. And I'm just plotting that out. So this is what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to be working on the uh, mane of the horse. That's going to take probably the whole, whole afternoon because I'll probably end up doing it a couple of times before I like it. But this gives you an idea of what I'm thinking about doing. And uh, then I've got uh, the hand and arm to uh, 
work on over here. So I'm liking the way it's looking right now, and I think this will make both sides of the horse look dynamic uh, by doing uh, my uh, mane in this way. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow when we'll continue on this piece. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.